Hi guys, welcome back to a new video. Today we're going to be trying out some Jouer Cosmetics. This is overly, overly, overly overdue. I've been always dying to try the high coverage foundation by Jouer and I've also got their concealer and a few other like cream bits from them. Today's post notification shout out is going to go to AP Singh. So thank you so much for hitting that subscribe button and always tuning in into my videos. I really appreciate it. If you guys want to get one next time, all you have to do is subscribe, press the bell button and then let me know in the comments below when you've done so. I'm going to start off with some SPF. This is the Fenty Skin Hydrovisor. Um, it has SPF 30. I'm just going to put a bit of corrector on these blemishes. And just around my mouth as well. Okay, so this is the high coverage foundation. I have the shade Sable. Oh, it's liquid. I, I wasn't expecting that. I'm just going to start off with a little bit. It's so weird because as I'm blending it, it gets really dark. Uh, like, upon application, that was like the perfect colour for me. But now it's just like really warm. So weird. I've never seen a foundation do that. But it oxidises instantly. I actually prefer it way better with a um, beauty blender. It's definitely covered really well. I don't like what it's doing with the shade. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's just like really like warm. I'm gonna have to balance this out with a concealer. I've got the high coverage liquid concealer in the shade Honey. I don't even know if this is gonna be the right shade. I was sent these and I chose my colors. Sable would have been absolutely perfect for me if it stayed that color once I applied it. But because it's just oxidized straight away, it's like this orange on me. Um, and I chose this concealer and I don't know if it's gonna work, but we'll see. Got a doe fit applicator. Oh, that's so light. That's so light. Honey, this is in the shade Honey. Oh my god. Try and balance this base out. I mean, I can't always get the shade on point. But do you know what? This concealer is blending really nicely. It's not going ashy. Just put some here. Just gonna put a little bit everywhere just to like kind of fix this oranginess. I got this bronzer and highlight duo. This one's in the shade Sun Gaze. So you've got your bronzer on one side and your highlight on the other. To blend that out. Very creamy and blendable. Oh, I like that. I really do like that. To give some colour. And I'm going to use the highlight with my finger. That's really pretty. I definitely see myself using this every day. Then we have a cheek and lip duo. This shade's called Mille Fleur and this is called Fleur de Lys. I think I'm gonna go with this one. That is such a pretty shade. Definitely very like spring, summery. Might use one of the other shade on my lips. I wanna set my eyes with my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Setting Powder. This is in the shade medium. I really do like the concealer. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not the biggest fan of the foundation right now. Cause not only is the shade really weird, but it's just not sitting right on my skin. I got this uh, eyeshadow, which I'm gonna try right now. This is reminding me, this is giving me Bobbi Brown vibes. I used to wear these all the time. This is the cream eyeshadow crayon in the shade Baroque. That's really pretty. I'm just gonna curl these lashes. I'm gonna use that Mille Fleur shade on my lips. Super natural. Let's give it, it's got a bit of a metallicness to it. Then I'm gonna use this hydrating lip oil. Oh, that's nice. 
Okay, I'm loving the cream products that I used and the concealer. The lip oil is actually very comfortable. Now, I'm, oh, I really don't know about this foundation. We'll wear it for the rest of the day. It's now 7.34 a.m. We'll see how it sits later on, but like already, there's a lot of gathering happening. Like on the cheeks, it looks okay, but it's really not sitting well around my mouth area and on my nose. I don't know if you guys can see like the gathering here. But the concealer looks pretty good, very smooth. And yeah, my cheeks look good too. So yeah, that's how it looks up close. I'm not the biggest fan, but we'll see how this looks later on today. Ignore my face. I've been, I've just finished a workout and this is what my face looks like. I mean, I'm really glad I got to try this out, but this foundation is really not for my skin. Like I have really dry skin at the moment. I don't know why um but it's come off everywhere like on my nose and it's like in because it's such a full coverage foundation it's not heavy it's really full coverage with a little amount but because it's that full coverage it's like completely rubbed off and you just see these lines randomly across my face now the concealer did pretty well and i do like the cream products like those are definitely products i will use still there's not much creasing under my eyes so yeah i'm really happy with my under eyes to be honest uh how rude my camera just stopped recording here is just a close-up of my skin it is so dark behind me i don't know why but I have, i've put the lighting down so you guys can actually see my skin um it's very the color is really off as well i don't know what it is today like i really didn't like my makeup i really didn't like my hair like i was just feeling really off today um it's normal to have those days but like it really didn't help that my foundation was like all over the place and also it didn't match i also had to go out like this too <laughs> um the shadow actually held up pretty well there's little there was like minimal creasing and i really do like the lip oil as well so yeah it's just a big no for me for the foundation you know what the concealer looked light at first but it does oxidize a bit so yeah i'm quite happy with the concealer and yeah that's it for me guys i hope you found this review helpful if you want me to review anything else let me know in the comments below and yeah i will see you in my next video bye